How to think in English. Someone once wrote, In any language, verbs are the most important part of speech. I say, verb forms are the most important part of the English language. If you do not understand the verb in a sentence, often you do not know what the speaker means exactly. Let me tell you a short story. Once upon a time, there was a student. He traveled a lot. He was meeting English-speaking people. His pronunciation was good. His English was not bad. He was even able to chat online in English. He had English-speaking colleagues and friends. So what was his problem? For many of you, it may be a big problem. It's too expensive to travel and you have no English-speaking friends. But what was wrong with this student? It was still too difficult for him to understand and to express what he wanted exactly. He thought he would never speak English fluently. He asked me, how can I learn to think English? I told him to focus on the English verb forms. If you can use all the verb forms in a context correctly, you can become a fluent speaker without reading the grammar rules much. You can learn to think English only if you practice. I believe for many English students this is a very important step to becoming a better English speaker. Verbs change forms in context when you talk about present, past and between or during a period of time. We can leave out the future forms for now. This timeline will help you learn to think English by practicing the five most common English verbs be, do, go, have, get. So how can this timeline help me learn to think English? You can always imagine this timeline and think now, present and then, past, to practice all verb forms. Let's just have a quick look at the verb to be. In any language, the verb be is the most important, most used verb. In English, it has many forms. This is not an English lesson for beginners, so we'll just go through some of the forms and examples. All right, so it's I am, you are, he is. Okay, then we say I'm being or you're being, he's being. In the past, it's I was or I wasn't, he was, he wasn't, you were, you weren't. We can say you were being or you weren't being. Then we have I've been, he's been, you've been. Or the negative, I haven't, hasn't been. And I'd been, he'd been, you'd been. And the negative, hadn't been. We also have the form, for example, we say it has been being or I'd been being, but these are not very common. Still, we have to mention them here. Very important are contractions. So, I am is I am, or the negative, I was not, you were not, it's I wasn't, you weren't, or I have been, I've been, I had been, I'd be. I want to be a fluent English speaker. So, the verb to be is the basic form, or we also say infinitive, but let's not talk about the grammar here. All right. I am not good at English grammar. You are just being lazy. He isn't lazy, normally. All right, then we have. I have been lazy all my life. You haven't been lazy. I've been being confused all my life. The past. I was lazy yesterday. You weren't lazy. He was a bit lazy. You were being confused. And before then, I realized I had been confused all my life when Henry explained the verb forms to me. You'd been being confused before you watched this lesson. Let's move on to do. We may say it's the second most used or the most important verb in the English language. So let's have quick overview. So, for example, we'll say I do or I don't, 
he does, he doesn't, I'm doing, you're doing, he's doing, I did or didn't do, I was doing or you were doing, or the negative, I wasn't, you weren't doing. I've done, he's done. I've been doing, he's been doing. I'd done, or I hadn't done. I'd been doing. All right, and again, let's have examples. I'm just doing nothing now, which is not true, but it's just an example. I want to do an English course online. You always do your English homework. He never does his homework. So this is the present, now. Now we have examples. I've done my homework yet. You haven't done much recently. I've been doing nothing with my English for years. What was he doing over the weekend? I did my homework yesterday. You didn't do it at the weekend, did you? He did nothing last weekend. And before then, examples. At the end of the school year, I realized I had done too little. I had been doing nothing for too long. Then I realized I didn't have much time left. Go. Quick overview. He goes. I go. Or he doesn't go. I don't go. I'm going, you're going, he's going. I went, or I didn't go. I was going, you were going, or you weren't going. I've gone, he's gone. I've been going, he's been going. I'd gone, I'd been going. So let's have a look at the examples again. We are going to Ibiza this weekend. I want to go on holiday. I don't often go on holiday. My kid never goes on holiday. We've been going to Ibiza on holiday every year since 2010. I've been to Ibiza six times. My friends have already gone on holiday. They are on Ibiza. My cat has never been to Ibiza. Where were you going when I called you yesterday? I was going home. I went straight home after work. You didn't go to the English class? Yes, I did. I had been going to English classes for years when I found these online lessons. At the end of the school year, I realized I had been to only several English classes. Have. Quick overview. He has or he doesn't have. I have or I don't have. I'm having, you're having, he's having. I had or I didn't have. I wasn't having, you were having. I've had, he's had, or the negative again, I haven't had, he hasn't had. All right, then we have I've been having or he's been having and I'd or I hadn't had, I'd been having. I want to have a couple of days off. I don't often have a holiday. We are having very cold days. My cat has a day off every day. We've already had some rain. We have also had lots of fun playing on the beach. We've been having great weather so far. My cat hasn't had much fun at home without me. In the past, I was having a swim when it started raining. We had a fantastic holiday. We had very good weather. My cat didn't have a good time at home without me. At the end of our holiday, we had had enough of the sun. We had been having very cold days for too long. We decided to have a couple of days off on Ibiza. Get. Quick overview again. I get. I don't get. He gets. He doesn't get. I'm getting. You're getting. He's getting. I got. I didn't get. 
I was getting, I wasn't getting, or you were getting. I've got, he's got, I've been getting, he's been getting. I'd got, I hadn't got, I'd been getting. I want to get a free travel gift voucher. I don't often get such gifts. I'm getting tired. I need to relax. My cat's getting fat. My cat gets free food every day. I've been getting many notifications recently. We've already got many likes on our holiday photos. We have also got lots of messages. My cat hasn't got any message from me. Past? We were getting takeaway when we got invited to a dinner by some locals. We got a room with a sea view. We got very excited. My cat didn't get her favorite fish treat. He got very depressed. We had been getting takeaways for a couple of days when we got an offer for dinners with 50% off. At the end of our holiday, we had got enough of ice cream. It's difficult to put all verb forms on one slide, so I hope using this timeline you will get the big picture of how to think in English. To summarize it, the point is, if you can use these verb forms, it will be much easier and quicker for anyone to think English. There is so much more to learn to become fluent speaker, but this can help you, especially if you are still not sure of how to use I'm being, I've been, or what is the difference between I do and I've done or I was doing, why you don't say I've gone and more often you hear I've been instead, you think you had enough of the grammar at school but you still are unsure when to use these verb forms, think about the examples I'm giving you in my videos. Subscribe, watch and practice other examples. The sweater will not shrink if hand washed. It shrank a bit last time I washed it. It hadn't shrunk before. I'm shrinking too, so it fits anyway. He always shuts the door. He shut the door last night. Has he shut the door? He is shutting the door now.